So this is what you'll find in your package. You've got two wheels, you've got the top plate, and you've got the main base where the machine would sit. Um, you'll only need a few tools. I'll probably list them in the description or I'll put them in the screen somewhere. Uh, but this video is to put uh, or to fit the 1050p on there, uh, which is a portable machine. It's a slightly different fit to the 7122 and 10122. So straight away, get rid of all the packaging. Uh, I've got it on cardboard not to scratch it because this one will be going out to uh, the guy, this guy that we know. So I'm going to try and keep as much of the packaging as possible. Um, you will have some hardware, which I will show you a close up a little bit later on of what we get. Um, just remove all this packaging, uh, unless you're the sort of person who keeps your phone screensaver on from factory, you know who you are. So the first thing you wanna do is just put it onto one side and we need to fit the wheels. So you've got the main axle and a split pin. Place the axle up through the wheel. And then the split pin through and just use some long nose pliers, needle nose pliers just to bend this round so it can't move out. Um, there is a cap with the two lugs that will just fit in and click in. I'm not going to fully click it in because this is going out, this one. Um, and again on the other side, the axle up, put the wheel on and then the split pin through the hole like that and then use your long nose pliers round and then your cap, covering cap just to click in like that. So this is now really where you mount your pressure washer. Uh, we'll worry about the hose wheel in a minute. Uh, with the 1050, uh, the first thing we need to do is take these rubber buffers off. And if you order this machine, uh, if you order this hose reel, um, we'll give you the screws and everything to go along with it. So just remove all of these. Once you've got the rubber buffers out, the idea is to get these screws out and the screw head is quite in there. So you just have to unscrew it while pushing down most of the way. And then probably use another screw just to try and push it out. Get rid of that screw. With that, there's going to be a longer screw and a shakeproof washer as well in this packet. Oh, I just need to remove all these screws first. So now all the screws are out, you'll be taking the longer screws, passing it through and into the rubber housing. You've got to put it on the plate first. So this is where two people come in handy. Uh, I'm going to do it on my own, but it's the metal side that goes towards the machine. So the metal side and just place these up in the actual housing part that they came from. Once they are there, the longer screws go in the pre-drilled holes that I've made. And then through the rubber up to the plastic housing and then screw it on. It's best to try and get them all started by hand before you finish off. Now I haven't got a stubby screwdriver with me here today, but 
I will still try and do everything on my own without any help, but if you've got some help, it will be a lot easier for you. So once the four screws are tightened through the uh, rubber grommets onto the machine, that is pretty much stuck on that machine now. So it isn't gonna go anywhere. The next thing is you just have to place this onto the chassis and the two bolts and washers that you have in the bag from the inside to the outside and screw up. And the same on the other side. And then these will just tighten up to stop any movement. And then all we need to do is put the hose reel on. So I will go and get a hose reel. So now with the hose reel, uh, the four bolts, nuts and washers. Take the bolts out. Again, if you've got more than one person, it's gonna be a lot easier to do this. I'm going to do it on my own. Let's show you how easy it is. So once you've removed the washers, then it's when you decide whether you're left-handed or right-handed. If you're right-handed like I would be, I put the swivel and the handle on that so I could wind it up easy. Put one bolt through. <laughs> Dull. So just a quick one. If you are having trouble holding it and there's nobody there to help you and you, you're trying to put the bolts in, uh, it may be easier if you turn this upside down and it'll give you a flat to work with. So you just got to make sure that your, if you want it left-handed or right-handed, the orientation, place it on the top and just put the bolt straight through and screw the nut and washer from underneath. I make it so much easier. Put one bolt through, through the pre-drilled hold, a washer and a nut on the back and just hold that steady for a minute because it's not on. Get the second one in. With a nut and a washer on the back end. So while it's still loose and you can get to all the holes, You can then uh, just bolt it up, but just start every one of them by hand first. And then all you need to do is tighten this up. So hold one side with a spanner. And just tighten each one of these up. You're always better to do this like a uh, like a car tire and go corner to corner. And they don't need to be over tight. They just need to be tight enough so that everything doesn't move. So apart from that, that is pretty much it. Uh, if you want to know how to set the hose reel up, uh, I have another video that I'll put in the description. Uh, but now you should be able to wheel this around to wherever you want it. Reel the hose reel up. If you prefer left-handed reel, just swap the hose reel around. Um, and that is it. That's done. And what you can do... Fold the trolley down, 
if you prefer it this way. Not very practical for moving around, but it'll lower the, uh, the overall height of it if you need to put it somewhere. <laughs> 